What's up, YouTube? And welcome back for another Magic Light 1.5 run. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pig Folk plus Scourge Mask uh, melee only run. So this is one of the most challenging uh, experiences you'll ever have in Magic Light. As the Pig Folk is extremely hard to unlock, you get it after beating the game without using an HP Potion, which personally I've done it before. I obviously, I've unlocked the character. It is very, very difficult to uh, obtain. So. And the pig folk race itself is pretty terrible. It gets a minus one on each stat and only starts off with pig meat, so you're going to be having a pretty difficult time starting off. For our variant, it's just variant one, variant two, doesn't really matter. For our hat, though, we're using the Scourge Mask, which you get is a 20% 20 20 unlock chance after visiting the Scourge Lair. And, uh, well, you have to visit the Scourge Lair quite a lot, but you should get this relatively easily. Uh, basically, your HP will be drained one by one every two minutes, so... And the goal on this run is to get through the Scourge, uh, get through the game, I should say, get to the Scourge wall as fast as possible, so you take as little uh, damage as possible. We're not using any companion here, so it's going to make it a lot more challenging on us. For our stats, what I've decided to do is just hit the stats uh, little bar here ten times and randomize it. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And <laughs> so we start off with five HP, four dex, four mag. We get a minus uh, attack kind of stat here, but we do get plus two here and plus two dex, which is uh, basically useless. So obviously our character name is Riptide. And if you guys are excited for this episode, go ahead and leave a like down below. Let's get started. But anyway, as I said before, the uh, main goal of this run is to get through as quickly as possible, and we're only going to be using melee, so no bows, <laughs> even though I always preach that... Uh, Using a uh, dex based attack damage versus the Scourge is the best way to do things. This run will not be like that, because that is the main purpose of the challenge. This will be truly a challenge for my uh, Magicite skills, but anyway. It's going to be kind of rough going here in the beginning, as we only have the meat to take care of things. I'm just going to slap this pig up with meat. I'm going to kill you with your own brother, even though I am a pig folk, so. I'm part of your kin. But anyway, we will just be smacking things with meat until we can go ahead and uh, buy ourselves an axe at the town. And which shouldn't be too difficult to make after we get some gold. And hopefully this slime's not doing any damage to me. But anyway, after two minutes, of course, we will take one damage. Which isn't too much, I guess. But we should um, be very careful not to take any damage from any mobs this early on, as we only have four HP. And I really hoped when I got that random uh, stat, stat generation that I would get the Lockmaster trait, as that allows us to open up the golden chests. But, yeah, I've been hearing a lot about this challenge on YouTube and uh, social medias, and I decided, you know what, I pride myself in being a pretty good Magic Slate player. Uh, why don't I just try it, so... I'm here taking a look at it now. And if you guys do want to try this, I advise you, it's going to be very, very difficult, as unlocking the Pig Folk is the, uh, the first step, and that's already very, very hard. And I have taken one damage! Terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. I really hope the only damage I take was from the Scourge Mask, but, uh, seems like that was not going to be the case. For the first time I loaded up this run. B, get out of here. And obviously this run will be much faster than normal because uh, we're not going to be chopping down many trees. Die, B. It should be around like half an hour long. But <laughs> then again, it takes us so long to beat these animals or uh, enemies to death with our raw meat. But hopefully we'll get enough gold to go. I think 100 is the maximum for a stone axe. And hopefully we can go ahead and grab that. As well as the, the skill, the warrior skills. I haven't actually covered Warrior that much in our uh, uh, series in, on Magic Sight on our channel. We did get hurt from the Scourge Mask there, one damage. And I think I'll just go ahead and skip this B just because I don't want to deal with it. If you don't want to deal with things, that's the main thing you want to do is just skip it. It's always good and piggy. You will die. So yeah, I mean, uh, I've been playing Magic Sight a lot. And I've only been using the dex based character with the Ranger and the Arrows. And that's run a bit too easy for me, so it's uh, time that I try myself, I uh, try my hand at a more challenging scenario and this is definitely one of the most challenging ones ever but basically main strategy as is always with most magic like games is don't get hit uh, try your best to stay alive and with the scourge mask you want to make sure that you're on top of your HP because if you are at 1 HP the scourge mask will kill you make sure you're never on 1 HP otherwise the scourge mask will uh, take your life there we go oh okay I thought the slime was gonna jump forward a little bit and he just did and I am getting owned so let's go ahead and make ourselves an HP potion just so I don't take two damage and die unexpectedly. It's always good to be safer than uh, sorry, you know, as the old saying goes. And this spider is blocking the uh, the gateway to the next district, so I'll have to go ahead and take him out as well. There you go, spider. And uh, we'll go ahead and go through the green forest uh, district gate, as that is the easiest one, in my opinion. 
And uh, let's see, we can sell a bunch of this stuff because we're not going to need it. We are just going to be making uh, the regular melee class armor. Let's see down here. Is there an axe? Uh, there's just the iron one. So this is obviously not the best ideal situation for us. I think what we might want to do is... Yeah, this is pretty terrible, actually. We don't have enough gold to get ourselves the axe, so I think I will go ahead and grab the uh, the stone or the bone pickaxe. Or I might just save my gold and get for the wooden pickaxe. But anyway, that is terrible. We didn't get ourselves the axe that we wanted to. But I guess the first few levels are going to be a bit rough for us anyway, so... Why not make them more rough? We can go ahead and uh, get some stone, though, with this wooden pickaxe. I wanted to save a bit of gold, that way we had enough for the, uh, if we're unlucky again. We do get the plus defensive uh, trait, so that's pretty good. It's a pretty good time. The other one I want is the throwing axe one, which does a lot of damage to uh, enemies in an area. I will not go ahead and deal with that boar, because I don't want to. Go ahead and double jump my way out of that situation, just because it's very, very annoying down there. I think I'll only be killing mobs that are pretty easy to get to, like this slime and this pig that are just trapped in the corner. Three hits and they're both done. So, uh, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. These pig folk are apparently incredibly dumb. They do have minus one on each stat, so I'm not sure why you would ever play it, unless you're trying to challenge yourself. This game was already hard enough, so I'm not sure why you'd be doing that, though. So, let's see, I should be mining these rocks, by the way. I might have missed some, but oh well. Let's venture onwards and uh, mine this rock as well. And these slimes as well will... Oh my... That slime just jumped back in midair and uh, took some HP off of me, which is not the best. I did earn a critical strike on the air there. I'm, that's, I'm, I'm a pro Magic player, guys. Don't worry about it. And this, these, these guys are doing so much damage to me, i got to back out. Go ahead and use an HP potion as well. And that's a rock. You can't drink a rock. I'm sorry, pig folk. I know you're really dumb, but you can't drink a rock. That was totally your fault, not my fault. And what is that? Is that a is that a glitch? I'm not even sure what that is, but whatever. Whatever. We'll go ahead and uh, continue chopping down the enemies in our path. Yeah, Magicite is still one of my favorite games so far. I haven't actually tried out the new game that Sean Young has released called Broglands. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty good, I, I think. He has put a lot of time into it, but this game is still one of my favorites. I think the uh, the difficulty and the challenge of it is what keeps bringing me back. But anyway, we're dish number four, Vine Road Forest. And let's see if we cannot go ahead and sell the rest of our junk to this guy, who will gladly buy any of it, no matter what it is. Let's see, do we have any axes? We do have the stone axe, thank goodness. If you don't get an axe too early on, then the run is basically over because uh, you will not be doing very, very well. We do have two stone, which is obviously not the best, but we will have to go ahead and venture onwards. I will go ahead and buy an H, H potion just because whenever you see them, you should buy them. It's a good value for uh, your gold to health restoration. It uh, hasn't been, I think the Scourge Mask will take one health, health point off of me sooner rather than later. So we'll have to watch out for that. The Stone Axe does get me a lot more wood than the Wooden Axe, so I'm glad I got it. Let's see, let's keep going. <sighs> Slime, I'm sorry, I'll just hit you with some wood. Not that kind of wood, but you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. I mean, that can make so many analogies. I'm hitting it with wood, I'm hitting it with meat. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're down to, and the Scourge Mash will take one health point off of us as well, later on. And I think before, oh, I was going to say, before we mine that, we do, actually, no. That, we have enough for our stone pick now. I thought we had enough later, but uh, I guess we didn't, so let's go ahead and make that. And I will just try to break the stone axe on this, uh, this biome here. And see if we cannot make ourselves a stone sword to go along with our, uh, well, not a stone sword, but a wooden sword to go along with our uh, repertoire of tools. Let's see. Don't don't, don't jump this way, Slam. No. How dare you. I can still two-shot you, which is fine, though. So uh, This wooden sword will do a bit more damage, not that much more. So I will have to be wary of the, uh, the boars that are charging against me here. And die, boars. Die, boars. I, I feel like the boars should give you pig meat as well. Just because technically they are pigs, right? Technically, wars are pigs. I might just spark an argument, but you know, I'm pretty sure. Let's go back down here. Hopefully, those boars will uh, catch sight of me and try to chase me down. Come over here, boars. I kind of don't want to get in the way of these falling rocks. There's everywhere, so I will go ahead and just try to take them out over here. There's actually two boars in one. They both managed to take up the same tile space. But there they are, nice and uh, knocked out by the power of the scourge mask plus pig, pig folk run. But yes, hopefully we'll level up to level 10 pretty soon and get our new st uh, skill. Uh, so mine the rest of these resources because uh, in Magicite that is what you want to do. 
And the Scourge Mask takes one more health point off of me. I'm slowly itching my way to death with this mask. Jeez. An all melee run should be interesting for me. I have not tried it in a while, so... Things may go horribly bad, and uh, I might not upload this if that does be the case, as I want this to be a nice guide for you guys who are wondering about this challenge and uh, wanting to complete it themselves. It's basically like any Magicite run is just, you know, don't take damage. It does have some extra, you know, difficulty built in there, but uh, it shouldn't be too hard once you get the hang of it, I think. After some multiple tries, it should be uh, relatively easy. As all game, practice makes perfect. As all games, I should say. I'll definitely not bother destroying that boss's life because uh, he has way too many hit points for me to try it and uh, attack him with. And I am starving, as the game uh, dully notes. Uh, I'll go ahead and kill all these pigs and this boar while I'm at it and go ahead and poop. In the same place, just poop on them as we're fighting. It's the best strategy I've found in Magicite is just to poop on your enemies. And that boar was knocked dangerously close to me, but uh, thankfully he didn't do any damage. And this bee, I'm not even going to bother with you either. I have no time for your kind. Oh, we did two damage. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and jump our way out of here. Well, we never want to be at one health with the Scourge Mask on because uh, you could die. Well, there we go, back up to full. Let's venture onwards, and I do see another rock over here. I will take it out. And these two slimes should give me some nice EXP. Uh, ooh, I took a bit of a risk there. I squeezed through, though, which is pretty good. And these, both of these slimes should die. And I do have 17 herbs, which is fantastic. We will be taking the cave biome because... Uh, that is one of the better ones to go into. And now, Mr. Merchant, I do believe I have some stuff to sell you. Uh, monster hides you don't need. That's making that's for making deck-based armor. Spider webs don't need. We don't need the shrooms. We're not that kind of magicite player. The lizard isn't either, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Let's see. Wooden pick can go away too. We actually have enough ironite to make us an iron uh, pick, so that's pretty good. Let's go over to the blacksmith. Smelt up all my bars and make ourselves the iron pick. The pick of ionite, we'll just fashion it with our bare hands, because that's what we do in Magicite. We can also smelt or cook up all this raw meat. Just cook it over the fire. Relatively easy cooks, isn't it? It only takes about 0.1 second to cook all of, our, all of our meat. But there we go. All nice and cooked. Go back up to the uh, merchant here and uh, see if we cannot sell... What else can we sell? Wood sword. I guess we can go ahead and make ourselves a stone sword. And sell the old wooden one. Uh, not that. Bam bam. Sword help, please. Thank you, game. And sell that. And we do still have the axe. I will break that on the next level. And uh, we should be good to go ahead and go. We should probably eat a little bit. And store the rest of our hunger bar. And we are here in the caves. The tree one cave. Uh, critical hit on that bat. <laughs> Unfortunately, we aren't doing as much damage as I want to, and that two damage in the bat is gonna, you know, take a bit off of me. In fact, if the spider hits me, I'm dead here, so I have to be pretty careful. Come on, die, die spiders, before you kill me. Okay, nice. Now the spiders won't kill me, so that's pretty good. And I have no stamina, or stamina, as I used to call it. Let's see, uh, bats, don't you, don't you dare, please no, please no. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother with you. I do not want to take extra damage, unnecessary damage. And uh, I will just be killing the spiders because the bats are uh, a bit of a nuisance to kill. Die! There you go. And uh, as I normally do, I will not be taking out the broodmothers because I do not have the sufficient amount of damage to take them out in an uh, ample amount of time before the scourge get here and ruin my day. Uh, the melee classes aren't the best for going through the cave just because the mobs do a bit of damage and uh, the melee weapons don't have that much range on them. And we do get our throwing axe skill, which is fantastic, thank the lord. That's one of the best skills in the game, in my opinion. It basically just takes your attack stat, and then you can use it to throw a massive axe, as the name of the skill implies, at your enemies. Let's see if we can try it out. I'm not even going to bother those guys up there, but we'll throw our axe, and just destroy the lives of these people. <laughs> I did destroy a bunch of eggs there, so it might awaken a broodmother, which I do not want to deal with, so I may have to run out of this level. Oh my goodness, so much, so many mobs. Am I gonna take it? Am I gonna take it? I will take it for a little bit, because I can destroy these three spiders before we go ahead and get out of here. And this broodmother's going to... If it hits me once, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. So let's go ahead and activate our defense buff. And destroy the rest of these spiders before they kill us. There we go. Broodmother, don't even... Okay, you did one damage to me. Oh, I took one more damage. Okay, please, no. Okay, we're good. We're good for now, we're good for now. 
We need to get out of here, though. Because this biome is not the best for us. Oh, we're at two. Uh, go quickly, quickly. Make ourselves two H potions. Jump over. Oh, my goodness. That was that was a risky dodge. Let's go ahead and drink up our potion. Bam! Right before the broom mother hit us. Man, that was intense. All right. Let's go ahead and dump. Sorry about that. We get ourselves out of here. Out of the caves. I hate the caves. Get me out. Get me away. I'll go ahead with the chest as we're running away and we get ourselves an ironite blade, which is uh, pretty good, actually. And these mobs, you know what, I don't want to deal with any of you, but I will open the chest because I want the Zoihander that was in the chest, awesome. And go ahead and take the Velt, and that cave was incredibly intense, jeez. Uh, I definitely did not want to awaken that broom mother like I did. But with this run, you have to be super, super cautious uh, that you don't take any damage. The Zoihander does 35 damage, so I will be keeping that in my inventory. Selling the stone pick and going ahead and making, uh, going ahead and making a, uh, another sword hilt. So we can make ourselves an Iron Knight sword. As so. Let's go ahead and sell our old stuff. Just like that. And we can go ahead and make ourselves some armor, I think. Yaddy ho, what's up, man? You can go ahead and make myself some bone armor, I think. We have a bunch of bone. And we can go ahead and fashion ourselves some armor out of it. Just like that. We have two pieces of armor to increase our attack stat. With those Y-Hander, we are doing a lot of damage, but it does take a, a while to wind up the shot, so that's why it does so much damage. Let's see, we can go ahead and trash the rest of this stuff, as well as this coal. And I think we'll keep everything else and go ahead and move on into the Velts. Into the Velts, I should say. Uh, let's see, is it what district was this? I forget, but I think that should be a nice and uh, good point to wrap up the episode. If you guys did enjoy this Pig Folk plus Scourge Mask melee only uh, episode of Magisite 1.5, go ahead and drop a like. In the next episode, hopefully we'll take on the Velts and venture through the remaining districts of Magisite, and hopefully make it to the Scourge Lair and take out the Scourge Wall. This will be a very challenging Let's Play, so if you guys really enjoyed, it would very much help me to uh, subscribe for more, leave a like, and comment your feedback. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.